Alright, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and go to the menu, safety and security, and power off. Alright, starting on the passenger side, there's this little plastic, just move this like this. Or not. There we go. Now there's this little clip here. I'm going to go ahead and just pop that up like that. Back here, and we'll just gently remove. Right. There's a plastic piece under the glove box with some pins here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's one here, uh, there's one here, and there's one back here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those. So all the pins have been removed and now we're just going to gently slide this panel back. Okay, I couldn't get this out, the foot roll light, so I'm just going to work around it. If you look up here, there is this white plug. We're going to remove that right there. So this white plug comes out, that goes into the amplifier. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Get it out of there. Okay. This piece we just pulled out is going to go into here and then this is going to go back into the slot. So we got that hooked up here and now this is going to go back up into the slot there. I'm going to tuck this in. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to plug this right into there. So we took the cables back behind here, and I'm just going to slide this piece in, or is it, like this. Push it in as far as it will go. Heard the little click, that's good. Alright, we've got two wires here, a red and a black. I don't know if you can see that, red and a black. And that's going to go... This first... can move this a little bit so with this connector you go to the back row and I don't know if you can see here but the back row if you count from the bottom one two three four four is white five is red so the black pin is going to go into slot number four and the red pin is going to go into slot number five so we're matching the reds all right so I don't know if you can see that but Get as close as I can. So the black one is into the fourth slot with the white wire, and then the red one is into the fifth slot with the red wire. I'll just push it as far as I'll go, and then we're gonna go ahead and, and tape it, but we're gonna leave it like this for now to make sure it's working before we do some cable management. Take out this section here so we can route the cables to the driver's side. Gently pop these out. Run your fingers along the edges, and it should come out pretty easily. I need to call it something. There we go. All right. If you have any of these clips left over in here, oh, like that one just fell off. Just take them and put them back onto this panel. It will make snapping it in a lot easier later on. So if any of these white clips, I gotta take this off. If any of these white clips are, are like stuck, oops, in here, just take them and put them onto, just put them on like that. So then when you're pushing it back in, it'll snap in a lot easier. So now, this is, this is the little hole that we're going to route the cables to the other side. So we've got to go over to the driver's side now and remove the other panel. Driver's side now, and let me remove this mask. I'm going to go ahead and get our fingers under here. And just start. The driver's side's a little hard to... Oh, it's just a little clip, save that. Oh, 
of this up there. And we had a clip come off. Put that right here. There's another clip that I'm missing. I don't hear this. You see this, this white clip here? I want to take that. And just find the piece that's missing the clip. And we'll set that aside. Now, let me see a little, pull this guy through. So now what we want to do is remove the same thing on this side. Just go behind. I think we use our hands, right? Gentle wiggle it. Uh oh, we're stuck here. Where we stuck it? There we go. Now we need our pry tool for this. This guy right here. Let's go ahead and get in there. Just pop that up. side is a lot a little bit easier to get to so we're gonna move this blue connector and then let's do that first so we're gonna push this and pull that out okay pretty easy now this side goes in here go ahead and push that in but we're facing the wrong way are we no give me one sec let me figure this shit out. We are facing the wrong way. There we go. We're gonna slide this in here. Push that in all the way. And now we're gonna take this end and put it in here. Here's a click. But now we've got these two cables that we've got to plug into here. And for this one, again, we've got red and black. And we're looking at the first row. So the first row of cables, there's an empty purple, black, red. Okay. So empty. That's a better view. Empty pin, purple, black, red, white. Black to black and then red to purple. So the black is going into the third hole and then the red is going into the second hole. Here, the red is into the second hole with the purple wire, and then the black is into the third hole with the black wire. I'm just gonna jam it in there, and then we'll go ahead and, and tape it afterwards to make sure everything is working. So, everything's hooked up. It's a mess right now. Hey, turn this car back on. So it's on. Let's go ahead and play some music. The music's coming out here. Speaker, yes. Up here. Check. All the speakers are working, so now what we're gonna do is take some zip ties, get all these connections tight so it doesn't pop out with the sockets, and then put all the panels back on. And that should be it. So you see here, we've got a zip tie around these cables so they don't pop out. We've got them super tight. Everything should click. Okay. 
just gonna go put her firmament back in. It's a little trickier because you got this box. But you've got to stuff up here somewhere. Uh, I'll just stuff it up here. We'll figure it out. In the upper left corner, I'm just gonna put this panel back on and that'll hold it in that corner. All the panels are back on. We got this last one up here. Oh wait, I forgot to put this in first. Done, everything's back in place. Panels are all in. Driver's side as well. Nice. You definitely notice the difference. So yeah, that's the install of the hand shove. It took me about an hour, 20 minutes, because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. It's my first time taking anything apart in this car. But everything, everything's good to go. So, thanks for watching.